Hey boys and girls, so it's time for our review as usual, but as I was coming into the church today, I saw this. So hopefully we won't be to start. I gotta go. So boys and girls, I am currently hiding in the youth room underneath the pool table. I heard her coming upstairs, so hopefully this won't last long, but I'm just gonna wait until I hear the door and she goes back down. Boys and girls, I'll, I'll see you later. So boys and girls, I'm hiding in the nursery. I'm behind a door, but anyway, hey, I'm Alexis. just waiting. Alexis! Oh, Alexis! I saw your car! Are you here? Alexis is Gary! Okay, boys and girls, so that did not work out. I'm just gonna go home and hey, I'll see you Alexis! Alexis! Oh, oh, God. I found you! <laughs> you did! Hi, Alexis! <laughs> oh, Danny, I, um. What you doing here? I was looking for you. you I knew you was probably coming to do the video today, so I decided. Whew, I would come help you out. Are you out of breath or something? Nah, I'm all good. Okay. Well, I was actually about to go home. Well, I'll go with you. We do the video at your house. I think we should just do it here. Okay. So what are we doing this week? I think we should do it here because it'll give us more room to act out. You're acting out this week? No. Yes, I will tell the Bible story and you're going to act out. So here we go. Danny, do you, even, it? do you even know what the Bible story was about? Yes, I did my homework this time. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. <laughs> this story is important, boys and girls. Very important. It's important. Very important. Okay, well, we'll give it a try. Okay. Don't forget. You, you yeah. have to tell it right. I always tell it right. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So make sure you act out by be watching. Okay. No, to. The Bible story was in Acts chapter 10. And I don't remember verses, but this is how it went. 1 through 33. There you go, 1 through 33. This is how it went. It was a guy named Peter. He was one of the disciples. I'm about to say to Peter over here, looking all zesty. And then. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not in the Bible. Yeah, it is. Sure it is. Okay, maybe I just added that one on a little bit. Yeah. It was kind of fun though. <laughs> okay, let's get on with the Bible story. So, I'm Peter. That's Peter. And you go to sleep. Go to sleep, Peter. Go to sleep. Peter did not sleep standing up. There ain't well, no way. Well, you don't know. It doesn't say that. How many times you slept standing up in your life? Well. I don't think he was doing that either. <laughs> Danny, okay, I get it. I get it. Okay, I'm asleep. I'm asleep. Oh, Take it away. There you go. There hey, you go. Hey, I'm asleep. Okay, baby, sleep. Oh, Peter's asleep. And God gives him a dream. What's the dream? You're acting out. I got the dream. I, but Peter wasn't in the dream. Okay, fine. The dream was about all these animals. Yes, yes, it and was. There was a donkey. Hee And a pig. I'm not about to act. And a, um, you get to do a cow. Moo. Better than that. Come on. Moo. Moo. There you go. And a turtle. 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 Turtle.
turtles or mangoes? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What about a giraffe? I don't really think they make much of a noise either. What about a cat? You don't know what a cat says? Um, roof roof? <sighs> Meow. And a dog. You got this one. You can do this one. I believe in you, Lexus. No, you were doing it. You're acting out. Ruff, ruff. There you go. There was a bunch of animals in there, and it was like all animals that Peter wasn't supposed to eat, because there was rules about which ones you could eat and which ones that were not good, kind of like Sam McCormick leftovers. And so Peter was sleeping, and he got this drink. He was sleeping. <laughs> okay, I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping. He was sleeping. Mm -hmm. And snoring. And God. What if he did snore? It's okay. Okay. And God gave him this drink. And he said, in his dream, of course, this is what Peter said. You're Peter's guy out there. Oh. Um. Lord, I can't eat any of that because that's all unclean and I've never eaten anything in here. That's right. That's exactly what it says. Yeah. And God said in the dream, it's not impure, but I make it pure. That's what he said. And so. I don't think that's quite how he said that. Well, it was something like that. And so Peter, and he had this dream three times before he woken up. So Peter's awake now, and the lesson to be learned in this story. Well, not really. You might have to help me out with the end. <laughs> Cornelius? Cornelius. There was this guy who came from a man named Cornelius' house. And he came Peter. Peter was awake. He wasn't sleeping this time. This wasn't a dream. This happened. So, he came from Cornelius' house. Coming. And he's like, Peter, you coming with me? Because Cornelius had, God told him that you're going to come to him. So, we're going to Cornelius' house. Okay. So, hey, boy. Cornelius' house. <laughs> wow. Come on. Okay. Uh -uh. Come on. We're in Cornelius' house. Right, I'm in the house. And Cornelius, you got you got me Peter, but I'm gonna be Cornelius. So I'm okay. not the guy anymore. I'm Cornelius. Okay. So Corn and Cornelius. 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 That that God told him that he was going to get Peter was gonna come tell him about the news. The good news of the gospel, which was Jesus Christ. That's yes. important, boys and girls, don't forget it. But there was a little problem because Peter was a Jew and Cor Cornelius was not. He was somebody that they called Gentile. And people that were Jews didn't like people that were Gentiles. And people that were Gentiles didn't. Well, you get the point. So, oh, what are we doing? What is this? I did. I, I was Peter. Peter didn't like Oh, Gentile, yeah. So. so, but that's something called prejudice when you don't like somebody else. Be called what? Prejudice. When you, don't, when you don't like somebody else because they're a different kind of person or they walk differently or they talk differently, like, something like that. So, prejudice. Mm -hmm. And so, that lesson, Peter ended up sharing the good news. Corn, corn, Cornelius. Yeah. And so the lesson to be learned is that God loves everybody if they're a Jew or a Gentile. Basically, he loves everybody no matter what kind of person they are. And he was teaching Peter a lesson. Yeah. Yep. He's teaching Peter not to be prejudiced. Prejudice. Pre prejudice. Is that it? Yeah, that was in the story, right? That was really good. Very good. Good job acting it out. Thanks. You didn't do too good at the sleeping part, but besides that, you was great. You was great. So, so are you hungry? I'm kind of hungry. Um, sure. Let's go. There's this new restaurant open. Actually, no, it's okay. They I'm serve, gonna go home and get some hot tea. They serve chopped liver and onions, and they so good. And look, I know we just talked about how Peter did eat certain foods. Well, it's kind of like the same thing. I, I yeah, but you gotta get over your prejudice. So That's not prejudice. Bye, let's go, bye.